All right, guys, we have a 2008 Saturn view. We've got a customer complaint where the fans do not turn on at all. So I guess it'll overheat. Uh, we're trying, we're gonna go the easy route or the cheapest route in case it is a computer. We'll, we'll just rig it up and I'll show you how I did it. Get the fans running. That way this truck won't heat up anymore. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check if the fans are working. One thing you can do is do the relays, check the power, bypass it, that's what a lot of people do, just to make sure that the, the radiator fans are good. What I have here is a bi-directional scanner, I have a launch. A launch brand scanner and with a cell phone and we're gonna go this route that way we don't have to mess with anything all we're gonna do is activate the fans so we're gonna go to actuation test output cooling fan activate all the relays and we'll turn them on we'll see if it work As you can see, the fans are working. I had tested this car yesterday before I did any work to it. And the temperature would go up 180, 190, even 200. And it would not activate the, the fans. Now, if also, if I'm correct, usually if you disconnect the temperature sensor, it should uh, turn on the fans automatically that to prevent overheating so that's what we're going to do next and on this one the temperature sensor is located see it right there it's right, ne right next to this dipstick we'll just disconnect it Here is disconnected. We're gonna turn on the vehicle. All right, so we're inside the vehicle. Key forward. It doesn't sound like the fans are on, so let's turn it on and see if it turns on. As you can see the fans are on I guess as a safety measure this car came with a lot of problems so don't mind all the lights so the next thing we're gonna do is change out the temperature sensor and hopefully that fixes the problem all right I want to show real quick for those of you that know about schematics here's a, a cooling fan circuit all three relays hot at all times as you can see down here, right here is the temperature sensor. And both of these go over here to the ECM. And through the ECM, it goes to the temperature sensor. So if we got ourselves a bad temperature sensor, it won't know and it won't send for the lower high speed. And with it disconnected, uh, it sends it automatic to the high speed and it uh, activates all the relays that way the fans will turn on all right guys sorry for the change it's getting a little dark outside i was able to buy a new sensor this is how the old one looks it's already installed let's see how it works all right i got the car on don't mind the smoke because of the coolant that fell out getting, getting steamed We'll see right now once the temperature goes up. For now, let me hook up my scanner and we'll see the temperature reading. All right, the vehicle has been on for a couple of minutes. 
Got my scanner hooked up. As you can see, we're 158, slowly going up. We'll keep monitoring and we'll see if the fans turn on right now. Temperature's at 197, almost getting 200 degrees. Yet the fans are not on. They do not want to turn on. You can see the temperature sensor is showing it is working, yet somehow the computer is not sending signal. We can do it with the scanner to turn on the fans, but yet the fans do not turn on even after changing the sensor. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go check the wiring schematics, find out which pin and which wire sends a signal and we'll activate it with the key on and that way the fans will turn on uh, customer wants that he just wants the fans working uh, issue might be with the computer but we're not going to go that route which is probably the right way to go but we'll just bypass it and that way the car can start cooling better or start cooling all right so looking at the schematics here if you see on pin 54 cooling fan relay control that would be the one that sends a signal and it's found on connection number one x1 and on the computer this one the first one it says j1 two and three so this one we took off the plastic this plastic right here like the other ones looked at the pin 54 as you can see right there and down this one, put a needle through it. And if we check the other page on the cooling fan circuit, so this is hot at all times. So that means we gotta send it ground. So what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna send it ground. Key is forward. Don't really have the best. I can probably get some wire. So I'm just gonna with this long extension touching the ground I'm just gonna touch this and as you can hear it fans turn on so we're gonna tap into that see if we can find something that activates with the key with the ground even at a we have to add a relay or something a part uh, and uh, I'll let you know right now how it goes. I found here for the powertrain, same thing, hot at all times. So that means this should be the signal, the ground. So if we follow this, pin 40 on the same connector. So we'll just jump that together and see how it works. And we'll test it out. Not gonna get too much into detail, but what I've done is put a relay basically from the powertrain to send signal to activate this relay and it'll activate power straight from ground. For now, I'm testing it here at the battery because it needs to send ground to this one right here, which is the, the signal for the fans. And well, this is power power and signal from the power train activates this and sends the ground so you can see the way it is i'm going over here to inside the vehicle and i'm going to put the key forward getting ready i'll do it one more click Turn it off. And the fans turn off. So that should be the fix for now. That's the whole point. That way the fans can turn on and they won't overheat. So I'll just clean it up here. And but that should be the end. I'll make it look pretty. And I'll see you guys next time. Forget to like and subscribe. Later.